Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I apologize for the angle, but I've tried to make this introduction like a hundred times and there's this glare in the frame of the camera. This is my backup camera, so it's not going to be great. Uh, this is my stepdaughter, Gabby. Hello. <laughs> We're headed out doing a little bit of vlogging today and um, I'm probably just going to put some inserts of our week show you our workout at the gym she actually went to the gym with me she went a couple of times also with her dad and we're gonna go check out a couple of shops today around town or probably the mall and definitely the pet store we're not gonna get any pets she's already a pet <laughs> we're not gonna get any pets but um, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. This is a fitness and health channel for the most part. And if you are not new and you were around, thank you so much and definitely give us a thumbs up. So, see you guys in a bit. Hey baby. Hey baby. Do you want to bite me? <laughs> you okay? I gonna bite. No, why? Looks evil. Looks evil, why? Hi. Oh, baby. <laughs> they only have two today? Oh, there's one at the bottom. Really? Oh, I didn't see this one. Hey, everyone. I know, they're so cute. Yeah, I just met her. She's just so friendly. Because <laughs> she wasn't here last week. Wow. So this is the first time I've met her. You sure you don't want to cheat? I am <laughs> absolutely sure. Not he does not he does not need a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you going to do today? Why are you here? You going to get your face done? You're already cute though. Yes you are. Yes you are. Do you have any questions for the lady? No? <laughs> Where do you want to go next? That part really scares me. And to the bridge? I've always been scared of the bridge. Every time. Tell us something about your day so far. Really good. What did you do? Been to you. I don't know. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> of course you have words. It was really fun? Yes. Yes. Do you know where we are? No. Water Creek. <laughs> Water's Creek. There you go. Good job. We're getting a snack, guys. We're at a Caribbean restaurant. It's called Taste of the Islands. So if you're ever in the area and you're looking for some Caribbean food, uh, do check it out. There are a couple of, well, more than a couple of Caribbean restaurants around, but this one is pretty close to where I live. Uh, we're not going to have lunch here, I actually have food at home and then later on I'm going to make some roti, authentic Caribbean food. Um, so we're just here to get some um, ingredients for the act and a snack. We're having a beef pork patty and this patty is so good. You know sometimes you want your Caribbean, your authentic Caribbean food, so we just gave you for a snack but it is so filling. 
so good. <sighs> it's so good. Yeah. That's how we say it back home. Woman and man. <laughs> People, they always say, you know, like everybody sounds like they're from Jamaica. But not everybody is from Jamaica. And in every Caribbean house, probably have one of these things. I even have one in the kitchen. Dominica. I want to go to Dominica. It looks cool. It's called Nature Island, I think. Nature Island. Antigua and Barbuda, Trinidad and Tobago. Who's from Trinidad and Tobago? Me. And. My family. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy's from Trinidad and Tobago. Republic of Guyana. And Jamaica. So this is a cool map. Let me show you guys. So this is the Americas. Okay, Caribbean is right here. Trinidad is that little red dot right here. Oh, that's really yes. tiny. I know, and Grenada is right on top. So we're very close to South America. Wait, this is where is Grenada? That's Trinidad. Hey guys, I'm back home. I am tired. It's funny how much you feel drained so fast when you have this going on. But, um, I'm tired. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and take a little nap. You see this right here? This is my lifesaver. My sleep is so much better because of this. It's called a snoodle. I'll show you guys in a second how versatile this is but um, I highly recommend this you know if you're just trying to get a bit of night's sleep so I'm gonna take about a couple of hours to rest I already went to the gym this morning I did my back and biceps I'm not gonna include any back and biceps workouts in this video probably not I don't know guys I don't know how this vlog is gonna go um, but I do want to uh, include some clips of my workout with Gabrielle and then when I get up, I'm going to make some roti. There are some leftovers, so I'm not too worried about the hubby coming home and not having anything to eat. <laughs> Even though he would not make a big deal. You know, he's, he's a very understanding person. Um, he almost likely prepares something, but I don't want him to have to come from work and then come home and have to prepare something. And I'm home. But regardless, I need to take a nap. So I can recuperate and do what I had to do a little bit later on. It's a very beautiful day in Texas, as you guys um, would have seen. Also, uh, I didn't actually, what I planned on doing today did not happen because the president, um, President Obama, is actually in Dallas. Most of you probably would have heard about the mass shooting that happened a week or so, week or, week or so ago. And it was very, very... Um, devastating for the area so there's this memorial going on and I had planned to go to the Asian Museum um, take it to see some art and so on but I know downtown Dallas is going to be very messy with a lot of the streets being blocked off so I just opted for not going um, so that is why I just kind of did random stuff today regardless I will see you guys when I wake up all right this is my snoogle um it helps me sleep a lot better and this is it's full length full body kind of curves like this so it comes with a little um poster of you know various ways you can use it but this is definitely my favorite way i would put my head up here pop my head up okay um sleep on my side and then this goes between my legs so I like you know my legs a little bit separated for temperature control or if I'm just on my computer on the bed, I will fold it up like this and put my butt in here and sit in there. And this is kind of like a chair. It's very comfy. And I mean, guys, there's just so many ways. You know, sometimes I sit, sit with it like this around me. So my legs would be in here and this would be around my chest. So it's just, just so versatile. But check them out. I got this on Amazon. It's called a snoodle. You can also look up your body pillow. And uh, the actual pillow is white. The cover is ivory. I'm not going to bother with changing the color. 
I ain't got time for that right now. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to show you guys my new addition. Because sleep is so important to me and this has made a huge difference. Alright guys, so here's the roti I've been telling you about. Um, I bought about four of these. You can get them plain or with chickpeas. Uh, if you go to the store and you're looking for chickpeas, you can probably find them under the name split peas. So the yellow peas. And this is kind of like a... A lot of West Indians or Caribbean people like roti. Um, especially Trinidadians and Grenadians for the most part. Um, so they come packaged like this in foil and I just kind of heat it up for about a minute. Well this is what's left of the curry. So this is chicken, chicken wings. I don't really do chicken wing, wings ex ex except for when I'm doing um, roti. But I have chicken, win chicken wings in here. I really can't talk today. But chicken wings in here with chana. And I should have showed you the chana before I cooked it. And golden potatoes. So all of this is curry. And the curry that I like to use actually came from a Caribbean shop. So the brand is Chief. And I do half curry and half saffron or turmeric. Okay, a lot of people just do curry, but curry is something that, it, you know, it's a spice and it burns my chest. So I like doing, I, learned, I actually learned this from my mom. To kind of help with that, I do half curry and half turmeric. And this gives the food, food a nice color as well. So you kind of prepare like a burrito, you kind of pack everything inside of the, the wrap, the roti skin, that's what we say, skin, and you enjoy. True West Indian, <laughs> you gotta eat it with your fingers, right? Yeah. But that does not mean it's primitive or anything, it's just really, I mean you can be all fancy with the fork and the knife, but a lot of West Indians, if you ever go down to the Caribbean, you'll see a lot of West Indians eating um, roti with just their hands. And it's all good. It gets messy. Is it good? Of course it is. <laughs> this is one of the favorites. Is this your favorite? Yeah. A one-off. Or your second favorite? One. Yeah. It's probably my favorite. Alright guys. We're downtown McKinney. Downtown McKinney is pretty small. There isn't much going on down here, but we're headed to the museum to get a little bit of history. <laughs> That's Gabby. That's my writing partner. But we're gonna check it out and see what what we can learn. Thank you. 